on August 17th, 2018, China would come out with something even better than the song Red Sun in the Sky, that being Buff 163. Now, what is Buff 163? Buff 163 is a Counter-Strike marketplace. You may have heard of it before. It's where most people get their prices from when talking about skins. It's also where you can get the cheapest possible prices for most skins. That's why instead of using things like the Steam marketplace or most usual big marketplaces, most veterans tend to use Buff 163. Now, there is a slight catch with Buff 163. You may go to their website and realize a couple things. First First thing, there's a funny symbol in front of all the prices. Not only that, but all the prices have very high values. And what's that? Why is all the writing in Chinese? <laughs> Buff has a huge range of items, from skins that only the biggest Saudi oil barons can afford what's, what, what's your name? Iran? Yeah. to skins that sell for an absolute pittance. Pretty much anything you're thinking of, they have it. Now there are a hundred videos explaining how to buy and sell on Buff, so I'll be quick, but all you need to do is go over to your inventory on the website, like pretty much any other site, list the item you want to sell, and then when someone does buy it, Buff sends you a trade offer on the behalf of that person, and then you have to accept it. Do be warned however, on Buff, if you fail to accept trades within a certain amount of time, you will receive a ban on Buff, which is not good. But who actually owns Buff? Most marketplaces and CSGO sites aren't public. They're usually based somewhere like the Bahamas and never have a real owner as per se. However, Buff is owned by the Chinese internet company NetEase. They do loads of stuff like gaming services, advertising, mobile things, email, e-commerce, loads of stuff. They're a huge tech company. Their founder is Ding Lei, also known as William Lei. However, I couldn't find who actually started Buff163. If you do know, Leave it in the comments, I'd love to know. But what does Volvo think about Buff? Well, they don't really care. As long as you stick to legit sites like Buff163, you shouldn't have a problem with Valve. You won't get banned or anything like that. So for now, just stick to the safe sites and try and stay clear of any of those Gamba sites. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I'm very happy about that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, watch another. Like and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Oh.